OpenAI is releasing text to video. This really is mind blowing. I'm ecstatic about this news. In fact, I'm already working on prompts right now to take advantage of this amazing new update. For the ultimate prompts database or for hundreds of prompts to try, click the links in the description. That's right, it's gonna be able to make amazing looking videos. And although the moment hasn't arrived quite yet, I'm sure it's just right around the corner. Introducing Sora, our text to video model. Sora can generate videos up to a minute long while maintaining visual quality and adherence to the user's prompt. So all of these videos that you see right now were all created with Sora. And if it really does look this good and perform this well for the everyday user like you and I, well then, this will change the game yet again. These videos have been so impressive, the ones I've been seeing, that I can't honestly tell you if they're gonna be AI generated or if they're actual real videos. Soar is an AI model that can create realistic and imaginative scenes from text instructions. Soar can generate videos up to a minute long while maintaining visual quality and adherence to the user's prompt. Okay, let's scroll down and then take a look at some of these options. So right off the bat, looking at this, I'm amazed and highly impressed by this. The first thing I can notice is that I don't see a lot of blurred movement. This is seamless and it's smooth as this lady walks, including the people in the background. This one is also fascinating as well because in other tools like Pika or Runway ML or even Leonardo AI Motion, you don't really get that full 3D effect of a person or an animal, like in this case, really approaching and walking right directly towards you. This does an amazing job. Scrolling over, you could see even with the close-ups, the extreme cinematic type close-up detail, I mean, this just blows me away. Here we have a bird's eye cinematic view of this beautiful beach landscape, and then again, the details are amazing. This is another one that completely blew me away, because as I expand it, if you look at the detail, it looks flawless in the details. It truly does look like a Pixar or a DreamWorks style movie that true professionals in Hollywood made. This is amazing. So look, as I scroll through a few more of these, you could see on their page right here, it's gonna give you some really cool examples. Now this is one of my favorites. Now again, look down here right beneath the photo, you could see it actually provides the prompts of what generated this video. So from this image and from this prompt, you can almost see that it's not gonna take some ultra detailed professional level or style of prompt, just a simple prompt photorealistic close-up video of two pirate ships battling each other as they sail inside a cup of coffee. If this is all it takes to make something this amazing, then this really will be a game changer. Even this one, the prompt says, a young man at his 20s is sitting on a piece of cloud in the sky reading a book. <laughs> he definitely is doing all of that and it got it exactly right. Now look at this one right here, amazing. Again, 3D animation of a small round fluffy creature with big expressive eyes that explores a vibrant enchanted forest. That's pretty cool how you can actually see the whole entire prompt. So that way, when this does come out, you know sort of what prompts you can use. So when Sora is released to you and I and everybody in the general public, I wanna make sure that we have together a ton of prompts that we could use so right off the bat we can produce and generate some amazing looking videos like you see on your screen right here and then even over here the details now this is extremely impressive as well the amount of detail to generate this sort of a video with all these TVs displaying different sorts of things and then have and then some even have like the static background amazing and then again here we are again a very short prompt yet again but then just the level of detail and realness is just fascinating here is another cartoon look Looking one simple prompt yet again just five simple words a cartoon kangaroo disco dances now another one that's highly impressive this close-up of a 24 year old woman's blinking eye the amount of detail in the close-up I mean you can even see the pores in her skin the pores you could see her pupil I can even count the eyelashes that she has to make something this good with a simple prompt this is gonna be incredibly impressive I know I sound like a broken record but every time I look at these videos I just can't believe that that is generated with the simple AI prompt. Okay, so we go through a few more of these as you go down. This is what really stands out to me. Sora is able to generate complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion, and accurate details of the subject and background. The model understands not only what the user has asked for in the prompt, but also how those things exist in the physical world. This paragraph right here is certainly a game changer because that's the most fascinating thing. If the AI is able to take the prompt and then 
not only create the realism of what the prompt states, but also take the sentence or sentences in the prompt and then kind of orchestrate a real world scenario. Let's just look at this one I'm on right here, okay? If I expand it, you can see that it's obvious that somebody is recording on the train, but notice the reflection. And when it goes past a darker area, then you can all of a sudden see the reflection of the person in the window. Look at that right there. It understood what the prompt was, and then it did capitalize on providing and showing a reflection. Fascinating. This is going to take things to a whole new level. Okay, let me go ahead and expand this prompt because it's almost too good to be true. So just look at the first couple of sentences, okay? Every level of detail, every adjective, every brief explanation of what you want in this prompt, it shows up. So it is, it's a camera following behind a white vintage SUV. That's exactly what that is. You see the black roof rack, pine trees, check, and then the steep mountain slope, check, and then notice dust kicks up from its tires. It got it exactly right in a literal sense. It takes the rest of the information and then it creates a real video based on a real world scenario or a scene. The model has a deep understanding of language, enabling it to accurately interpret prompts and generate compelling characters that express vibrant emotions. Sora can also create multiple shots within a single generated video that accurately persist characters and visual style. Then we have an assortment of fish, dolphins, and whales, extreme close-up of a gray-haired man with beard in his 60s. And then we have a stop-motion animation of a flower growing out of the windsill of a suburban house. Okay, again, fascinating. These scenic type ones also do a good job. And then let's just wrap it up on this page by just going through a few more of these amazing looking text to video creations. Look at this one right here. A giant towering cloud in the shape of a man looms over the earth. The cloud man shoots lightning bolts down to earth. And then all these images, I mean, I just get blown away every single time I look at another new video. You can see right here from this commenter, a bicycle race on ocean with different animals as athletes riding the bicycles with drone camera view. Let's go ahead and expand this and then let's just see. Okay, that looks exactly what the prompt says. And again, fascinating and funny at the same time. Keep on scrolling down. Here's another one. We have two golden retrievers podcasting on top of a mountain. Okay, perfect. So that's where I have a lot of positive hope because as you can see, we have people over here in the comments describing what they'd like to see created in OpenAI Sora. And then Sam Altman's response is exactly that. And so by the looks of things, I'm just incredibly impressed because it's getting it right every single time. And here we have right here, here's a man eating a cheeseburger, what it looks like. And then this one looks phenomenal as well. And then even right here, prompt monster illustration in flat design style of a diverse family of monsters. And again, as I just scroll down and down again, I could look at all these videos. I haven't seen a bad video yet. And then even something like this right here, where I'm sure the prompt was something like a wave inside of a cathedral with surfers on surfboards. I mean, it got it just right. The cool thing is, is that OpenAI takes more than the prompt itself and then it understands what the background may be. Look at this right here, Minecraft style. Open AI has the knowledge of what the Minecraft game really is. It got it just right. This is an exact clone of the game of Minecraft. Over here on Sam Altman's page, it says, Today we are starting red teaming and offering access to a limited number of creators. I really don't think a lot of people have access to it right now. However, I can only imagine that as more and more people get access to this, more and more news and more details will be sure to follow. But let me know what you guys think. Is this something that's going to be a complete game changer again and take things to another whole new level and allow all these other apps and platforms to just up their game even more? But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.